Dave Snyder here. It is the ninth day of January, 2014, and I was checking this uh, this uh, pattern out again, as I usually do when I'm sitting here doing nothing else. Okay, and this is one I showed in my last video. This is uh, a weather pattern. In case you didn't watch the last one, weather pattern that was around Africa and Europe yesterday, on the eighth, and uh, I saved the image and overlaid it over a picture of the moon. It was reversed over the Earth. I'll sh I can show you that real quick, but I actually, no. Just I'm going to show you this. This is how it aligned in this location. I had, even though this pattern, this weather pattern is from Africa and Europe, it's actually the same pattern that you'll see right here in that I just showed in a video a few videos ago, showing this over North America, over the Rockies. We've seen this over the Rockies before. I mean, I know that I'm not the only one that's seen the big circle over the, over the Colorado during those floods. I know I'm not the only one that's seen it everybody else must have seen it so it wasn't nothing that I did did it was definitely mother nature so anyways check this out the Grand Canyon the Grand Canyon look at this I think I see all of this I see this impact happening here and I see everything being pushed out this direction it looks like you know from the pressure of the impact kind of looks like it's being blown out this direction and some down downwards a little bit like it slid or something, you know what I mean, but check it out, right, look at the Grand Canyon, you can see where it kind of just, sweet, everything comes right through here and here, kind of out this area here, or all the way down to here, check that out, watch, right where, it's, see where the green starts again, but it, from here, all this washed out, pushed out by that impact, I think, and the Grand Canyon being right here, you can actually see the Grand Canyon in there a little bit, Watch. See the shape of that there. there. Look at this here. All this, all these little lines and stuff, right? There's something there for all of it. You can see this comes up to the edge here. And it changes. You can almost see. It's almost in place. Yellowstone, I can see Yellowstone right there. That little blue spot, watch. I mean, these things are so perfect, perfectly in place every time like this. It just makes you wonder how many times the moon's hit the Earth. I mean, it's just unbelievable when you see this kind of stuff. I mean, I can't see how you can't believe what I'm saying now. I mean, after showing this yesterday, I'll show you again real quick. I just did, I did it right in front of everybody. I mean, I did it right in front of everybody. Oh, it's weird. It's weird that, that nobody would have figured it out or something. I think people have figured it out. I, I know NASA has, but there it is. Look at that, right in the center. This puts that puts this right about where Greece is. And I showed this over Greece before. This this crater on the moon. I showed that over Greece. It's right about where Greece is too. Or Turkey maybe is right. Over, you know, it goes over Greece. I'm pretty sure. That's an impact by the South Pole of the moon. Hitting the Tethys Sea back in the, in the ancient times, creating the Mediterranean. Or it was hit on the other side and then pushed up later or something. But that's, see what happens. I, they, everybody thinks it'll leave a big crater. Well, you look at the ocean, people. The oceans are as deep as the mountains are high, I always say. So those are craters on the earth. The ocean basically is full of craters from the moon hitting hitting the hitting the earth and then it erupts like this would be a, a big eruption right where the deepest place on earth is this is probably an eruption that created a continent because the continents are always round around you notice they're rounded around the edges then they then they connect or whatever after another impact and another layer connects to it or whatever but the, it starts everything off round look at Australia is round if you were to continue it around to see this it's round and it, look, it's the same size. Measure it from here to here, and you'll get the same size as it is from this side of the circle to this side of the circle, or from this side of the circle to this side of the circle. It's the same width. Same, same as this. Same thing. This right here, from here to here, and you see the curve will fit in this circle, from it, you know, all the way across one edge of it. Same with this. This will fo all fit in a circle. This will all fit in one one big circle, and you see another circular in circular area here, 
then you got South America is a big circle. So everything's a circle about the same size. That's the pattern that's on the Earth without even using the moon. Okay, but then once, once you reverse the moon and you put it over, the, let's see. It's pretty interesting. It opens up a lot of, just like, like the Grand Canyon. I just showed you the Grand Canyon. That's something right there, I think. Check it out again. See the, the line here? This line here, it all starts right in the right place. It's the Sierras, and it can't go over the Sierras or something. You can see that right there. It just goes out, blows out this whole area. Southern California. It goes right out that way. And you can see the lines in the ocean floor, all these lines. Look at it coming out this way. And then right here is the center, basically, right? And then right here on the ocean floor, you have like a center. You have something right there. And I'm sure that it doesn't look like this. You know what? You know what I think? I think this ocean floor, they're, they're hiding so much serious stuff on the ocean floor. I mean, you've got to understand, you only get to see what they want you to see. So I think, I think the San Andreas Fault is basically a big hole right here because I know that it's been impacted. There's an impact, a bunch of impacts that happen right here. But when the North America is over here in this area, the Pacific, is when it happens, I do believe. But it's been hit a bunch of times, and it's almost like there's a big hole right here. You'll see it sometimes in the weather, maybe even right now. Come on, weather. Yeah, right. It's like right here. Big hole for Mare Oriental impact. So, anyways, let's check that out again. I just like to see how the other weather fits with this weather sometimes. Oh, yeah, look at this. See how it almost makes a circular shape right here? Because you look at Mexico and you can see that this whole this whole area right here is an edge of something, an edge of an impact. That's why it's curved. I know there are mountains, but that's an edge. It stops right at that edge, pushes up the mountains. Grand Canyon, that's pretty interesting. Let's check that out one more time. Just one more time. It's like right on the edge of this. Everything would have went down into that little canyon right there. It would have flowed this way and out this way. The inland sea that was here when it hit. I'd say that they say there was an inland sea area when it hit that area push it all out the side to create the Grand Canyon that's my theory I'm sticking with that because I know it was something something to do with the lunar impact because everything is has something to do with the lunar impact everything look at this here Mississippi something right in place there Florida's right in place So I think it, you know, even though this is over Africa, like I said, even though this is over Africa, this all happened like at one time or something. So it happened when everything was together, it seems like. But but that, don't hold me to that because, I mean, it could have happened all individually too, which means there's just more impacts by the moon than, than I even think. I know there's at least 12. There's at least 12 different ones that I can that I can count on the moon. Some of them may be a double, like, like Mare Oriental, I think, is hit more than one time. See, what I think is, is the moon hits, is attracted to the Earth. The poles flip, Some something makes the poles flip. When the poles do flip, instead of the moon moving away slowly, like, it ha like they say it has been, it comes back slowly, and then maybe not so slowly, who knows, comes back, hits the Earth, and it, you can see that it hits the Earth and rolls off and rolls into, it stays connected to the earth and, and kind of skids along this, like hits here. We know it hits here. Now we just look for the trail of destruction, basically. And it's, I see a trail all the way, all the time going this way. Or it could have went over here and just kind of rested here for a while. Because it, it, it would slow down the spin of the earth for sure. It would definitely knock, either knock it, make it go faster or it would slow it down. And then I think we go into the ice age. It makes its, 
we either I almost think that we might switch places with the Earth, the Moon, and the Earth, because it is a, pl a planet-sized object. So I I almost think that there's a possibility that the Moon becomes the Earth in a way, and and the Earth goes into its ice age like the Moon is probably in right now. I mean that's just a wild theory, but I mean the, the rest of it's you know the it hitting the Earth is for sure, but that's just you know all can't prove any of that. But it's possible. I, I would think when you switch polarities and you switch everything else, why not just switch places? Uh, you know, seems logical. Switch places. It has the moon's orbit, and, or the Earth becomes the moon, and the moon becomes the Earth. Now, I'll tell you what, the reason I say that is I've seen the Mayan mask, and it is a picture of the moon in color. I'll show you that. It is a picture of the Mayan mask in color. A second to find it. it should have it right here somewhere. Okay, that's probably Mare Oriental. And then it should be right by here somewhere where I moved it. Alright, I'll find it. It's right here somewhere. Be down. I think it's down for the just moved it down there. Come on. I'm really bad at titling things as you can see. Anyways, you can watch it on my other videos. I have it up there. But the mind mask, it is it is absolutely this picture right here, as you see this picture. There's like this big circular pattern here, which is, which is an eye that we don't get to see the whole thing. But And this is an eye. And this is the mind mask. You see it. It's a perfect match for this. It's absolutely perfect. Unbelievable perfect. And it's in full color. Green and brown and blue, like the water and the land and, the, and different kind of land. You know what I mean? And it looks so much like... It is this. It is guaranteed. I mean, there's no way that I, I put it there for a reason. When I seen the image of the mask on on Ancient Aliens, I seen the picture of the, at the beginning of Ancient Aliens. There's a they show the mask, and I I grabbed it off the internet, put it on here, and immediately could not believe it. It's all here in the mind. The mind mask is this picture of the moon. So if somebody's seen this, or or the mind mask and all this shit right here is is bullshit. One or the other. So you, you look into that yourself. I, I'm just saying that that's it does fit. If the Mayan mask is real and this is really what the moon looks like, then there's an issue there. Some serious uh, pre-knowledge of uh, what's going to happen in the future for sure. So, anyways, enjoy. Hope you understood what I was trying to point out there. Have a good day.